hello aquarius welcome back to my channel wisdom and light here and i am back with another reading we haven't been doing this in a minute how have you guys been feeling how have you guys been handling this mercury retrograde oh if you guys are new here welcome my name is bianca but most people know me as miss j and welcome to wisdom and light we do readings like this pick a card celebrity readings and whatever that's going on in the cosmos so give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to hear what the divine has to say about you if your sign is in aquarius sun moon venus or rising this is for you and keep in mind that these messages are general not everything is going to resonate with you because we are reading for a big group of aquarius take and grab what resonates and just know that you have the power to change course of your life nothing is set in stone just take these messages as spiritual guidance okay so i just have to cut the back oh hi the four of wands reverse i just have to cut the deck what is the energy surrounding aquarius sun moon venus and rising what do aquarius need to know for their highest good and protection okay God damn it, Aquarius, what's going on? What is this? What's this? What's this? I leave for a month, I come back. What is, what is, what is this? Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk. Actually, I'm gonna fix the cards cause I'm a perfectionist with how it needs to be laid out. But you know, let's see what's going on. Forgive me if I'm very loud in this reading, and I don't mean by raising my voice, I mean by the truth that I'm about to start saying, but Aquarius, I have to be honest with you, you were warned. Um, you were warned, and you've actually been receiving the signs, but for whatever reason, you either gave this person a chance, or you thought that it was going to be a different scenario, or... Or... If it's not negative, it's more so like a lot of good things are happening to you and you're just not, you don't believe it's meant for you. You don't believe that it's whatever this is because it doesn't have to be good or bad. The good side of it, because let's talk about the good, because I know good stuff is good to hear. The good side is I didn't think this blessing would happen for me. So let me just pull back and retreat and relax because maybe this is a glitch maybe this is maybe this is not even for me and they're gonna call me and say psych you got punked and Aquarius no this is for you this is good news and celebrate this blessing celebrate that you have worked very hard to receive this so some of you are actually getting good news some of you are receiving good news you're getting confirmation on things and you are even going to be meeting someone after a lot of adversity and heartbreak. Reconnecting with people is also a vibe for Aquarius. So I'm talking about all of the good stuff because I, I just, again, we're reading for a big group of Aquarius and I need to just get all the good stuff out of the way because Aquarius, I know you can handle it. You can handle bad news and you can handle when somebody's being raw and honest because you're raw and honest with people. So I'm going to keep it very positive for the first beginning of this reading because we're not going to act like there's not a lot of good things that are happening because there's amazing things that are happening for Aquarius. Breakthroughs, change. So when you see the Tower card in any reading, it's not necessarily like the worst is going to happen because in most cases in, in tarot it is. But in your reading, I don't see it as something bad happening if you're on the good spectrum of this energy that's around Aquarius. If you're on the good spectrum, I heard the word lightning striking sudden erratic change that is necessary okay and thinking is it worth it for me to do this is it worth it for me to take on the step so if you're on the positive spectrum of this message nine of swords start believing in yourself and you know what needs to be done with the high priestess Okay, so we got the good stuff out of the way because, I mean, this spread is also showing me a lot of other stuff that, um, you know, 
if I would have started with the bad stuff, a lot of you would have probably ran off. Because, you know, nobody wants to hear bad shit. I mean, I don't. Let's, let's get into where it's complicated. Now, for some Aquarius, you received the signs. You knew or you had an idea. And it happened and you ended up being right. You ended up being right about what you saw and how you felt. Your suspicions were correct. So if you were suspecting any form of infidelity, cheating, love triangles, your suspicions are correct about this person. Your suspicions are correct about everything. So because you're right about what you're seeing and because you receive proof or you're going to receive information very soon, there's this energy of, okay, I need to just sit down and pause because what just happened here? I got the Four of Wands reversed, the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor card. So whatever that happened that shook you up a bit, whatever drama that could be happening with family or your close friends, it was meant to happen, unfortunately. Or if this is in your love life, this truth that came out, it was meant to happen. It was meant to come up to the surface. Now, Aquarius, another energy that's here. I've been saying this to all of my Aquarians and Capricorns, but Saturn was in retrograde for at least six months of this year. It just, I think it just went direct not too long ago. So when I say... Aquarians and Capricorns were going through this immense pressure and transformation where a lot of you had to go inward. It was very hard and it's been very hard for Aquarius, right? But now it's like the planet is going direct. You're seeing everything clearly. But did you receive visions? Did you receive signs that this was probably going to happen you did and it looks like it happened already or it blew up from what I'm gathering what I'm seeing and now it's about how do I bounce back from this because I'm I'm just I'm floored I don't know what to say I don't know how to respond to this the solution is resting the solution is pulling back the solution is not fighting this fight. And the solution is also knowing that the worst is over because the tower card is literally in the beginning of the reading. So the war, the craziness is over. Okay? But the, the lesson here is never ever ignore your intuition, the high priestess, all knowing. Don't ignore what you're feeling. Don't ignore what you are sensing. So for the month of October, some harsh truths are going to be coming out. The veil is going to be lifted and you're going to be seeing some things that you didn't expect to see. And during this time, Aquarius, you're going to need to be around a lot of people that you love and trust. Okay? Because these are just some tough realizations about the people that you could be working with, the people that you are, the people that you consider your friends, family, whatever. Now, does this mean it's the end? No, but it's unfortunate. And all you can do is just see it for what it is. Okay, judgment. You're judging the situation. You're judging how this looks. You're judging how this makes you feel. Three of Swords is the back of the deck energy. So there's depth. Mm. Hmm. So you know what? Tarot's just kind of cussing you guys out. So let's get into the angel cards. I'm sorry, guys. Because I'm and the energy I keep hearing you knew. Oh, these cards fell. I keep hearing you knew. You knew. Or you felt it. You saw it. We tried to tell you. We warned you. So, since we warned you, since we told you, protect yourself and pull back because we want you to put we want you to rest. We want you to restore yourself. Now Again, whatever that this is, it's over. So that's the good thing. The storm is over. You remember this read? You, okay, if you've been following this channel since the beginning of this year or, at, or for a long time, 
for Aquarius, I've been talking about evil eye and sneakiness happening around you guys. I've been talking about that. And you guys have been setting the intention to expose who your friends are and who are not your friends, who are your supporters. And now you see it. You see it. And you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. So a lot of you could be fasting. A lot of you could be detoxing. A lot of you could be purging. That's a vibe here. A lot of you guys could also be fighting a cold or a flu like I am. Hi. <laughs> My name is Bianca and I caught the cold and thank God it's not the C word. Hello everyone. Let's just gather in a circle and just cough together. Excuse me, but it's awful. A lot of you guys could just be under the weather. And here's the thing. A lot of you could also be sick because you're, you're, you're emotionally just, just, mm. yeah, your third eye is open and you don't like what you are seeing. That is definitely a vibe here. But the message, it says the six of thought, peaceful times are on the horizons. The storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight. Yep, the storms are over. You can see what's in sight. You can see what you have to do. But the problem is you thought certain people were going to be accompanying you. <sighs> Damn. So let's get into... Um, some angel messages ask questions ask a question say it aloud to yourself and whatever angel card that i pick up is the answer to your question aquarius there's something better so let this go there is something better so release this please because mm -mm. Oh my God, Aquarius. And did I not just pull out the High Priestess card that's right here that also speaks about listening to your intuition? I'm gonna put this up close. You know the answer to your question. It is just a disservice to ignore what you're feeling and what you're sensing. I'm jumping up and down as I say it. Not even sitting down I'm standing and I'm jumping and I'm like you know the answer because you're intuitive and you're smart and you saw that shit already so how about don't give them room to show you what they're about to do or what they're trying to do Aquarius because you see there's a lot of there's a lot of nah that can't be and spirit's like, but it is what it is. And you saw it. And you can't unsee it. A lot of you, like, I asked for spiritual enlightenment. I asked to see, but I didn't think I was going to see that. Welcome to spiritual awakening. Welcome. Now, the good news in this whole reading, okay, abundance. Now that you see... You will find ways and means to defend and protect yourself to make sure that abundance flows to you. And don't think that all of this injustice that has happened, you're not going to be rewarded. God sees all. And a lot of you have been victim to a situation. You didn't deserve the outcome. But there's a reward in the end or there's a blessing in the end or you already received the blessing. Okay, you already received the blessing. So let's get into some love messages. Yeah, this retrograde was hard for Aquarians because you saw how selfish people are. You saw how you saw a lot. And it actually upset you that people don't care or they're just doing what they want to do because they're being selfish divine counterpart now a lot of you are going to be either with someone for the whole month where you're learning from someone and they're going through the same thing or you could be meeting somebody in the month of october you could be bonding somebody with somebody in the month of october a divine counterpart this person is a divine counterpart and or you are, could be aligning with your twin flame 
You are connecting spiritually or astrally with another. This is coming together with a mirror soul to achieve something on an energetic level. listen okay now that you can see now that you know now that it's in front of you now that the truth is here you know you can go from there it's no longer a secret it's no longer hidden it's here and now you guys can work it out or you can walk away but I'm here to say that now you know the answer is here and it's up to you on what you're going to do about it and no choice is the wrong choice because you're just going to have to do what is best for you Aquarius okay sorry that this message sounded very cryptic but I mean I never said this was love and light this is wisdom and light and yeah, I needed to know that your third eye is opened. Your third eye is opened and there are things that you are seeing that you can't unsee. And it's just disappointing to you that you're seeing this, whether it's what you're seeing in the world, what you're seeing in your family, what you're seeing around the friend, jealousy, envy, greed. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it. But you know what? After you see it, what are you going to do to protect yourself? To protect your energy? To protect all that you have built? To restore what you need to restore? To mend what needs to be mended? Okay? Because here's the thing, you ask to know, now you know. So what's going to be important is what you do with that information, what you do with that knowledge. Okay? Anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for sitting with me. I know this was a lot to take in, but just know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And now you know the truth. We'll be back in November. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.